My name is John Pascarella. I live in Frankfort, Illinois. My father, he was 58 years old when he had coronary bypass surgery. And on my mom's side, a couple of my uncles on their side had heart attacks. It's definitely in my family. So I really didn't go to the doctor until I was 65. I went for my Medicare physical. He asked me if I had any problems. I told him I had a slight heart murmur. And he says, John, he says, you have a severe aortic stenosis. It's something you're going to have to go see a cardiologist, and this is something we got to take seriously. And what I'm going to want you to do, he says, I'm going to send you to a surgeon. He says, Dr. Chris Malazer at Northwestern. My first reaction was, well, if I go see the surgeon, he's going to want to do surgery. And he says, no, he says, not necessarily. He's going to tell you what it is, you know. Bicuspid aortic valve is one of the most common congenital heart problems. We estimate that approximately 1 to 2 percent of the general population will have a bicuspid aortic valve. Mr. Pascarella was born with an abnormal heart valve. He eventually developed aortic stenosis, which is calcification of the aortic valve, restricting the blood flow out of the heart. In addition, he also had an aortic aneurysm, which is common in patients with bicuspid aortic valve. I didn't feel like I was ready at that time because I had no symptoms. Many patients with bicuspid aortic valve don't need surgery right away. So we follow our patients with 4D MRI. The MRI flow with the advanced technology that we have is able to demonstrate wall shear stress and abnormal blood flow. We can follow these patients and follow their abnormal blood flow within the aorta and the pattern of blood flow does make a difference in terms of progression and when is the appropriate time to recommend surgery. When he developed symptoms, he came to see us and we had recommended a minimum invasive approach to fix both his aortic valve and his aortic aneurysm. So I had minimally invasive surgery, so I had a small incision, it's only about you know, four inches maybe at the most, and I had my aorta repaired and the aortic valve replaced. The recovery was great. Mr. Pascarella did great after his minimally invasive aortic valve replacement and aneurysm repair. We know that minimally invasive cardiac surgery can reduce the trauma associated with open heart surgery and enhance recovery for our patients. We're glad to see him get back to work very quickly with great results. Everybody was great, you know, from the nurses, the technicians, to the, everyone. And Dr. Malazer and his team, they're awesome. Our BAV program has been in existence now for five years, and we have brought together a multidisciplinary approach for the treatment and management of our patients with a bicuspid aortic valve. We'd like to finally thank all of our patients who've contributed data to our bicuspid aortic valve program in order to make lives for future patients with bicuspid valves better. So now I could run, I could lift weights, you know, I could do whatever I want. And, you know, before that I couldn't. I had all the restrictions on me leading up to the surgeries. Overall, it was a good experience. It wasn't something I was actually looking forward to, but now that it was completed, I mean, it gives you a new outlook on life.